You know that dream restaurant of yours or that cloud kitchen that you've always wanted to start? Well, it's not going to happen. In this video, I'm gonna expose you on your biggest excuse on why you won't start that dream food business of yours again this year and actually how you can overcome that. So make sure you guys keep watching. Hello friends, my name is Wilson, your friend in helping you build a thriving small business and a profitable food business. Out of curiosity, how many of you guys have been dreaming of starting a restaurant? Let me know in the comment section below. There's a big chance that you want to start your restaurant so then that way you can actually do something you're passionate about. So then that way you can quit your nine to five and escape the rat race. So then that way you can provide for your family. All of this revolves around your fantasy in starting your own food joint, in starting your own coffee shop. All this time you talk about you wanna start a restaurant. All this time you've been doing research, binge watching my YouTube, and even joined my Facebook groups. But you haven't made any real progress in making this fantasy a reality. Because it's one thing that is always holding you back from reaching that. And this one thing that a lot of people are inflicted with, and this one thing, is the fear of starting, the fear of failure. And I know this is a massive barrier because more than 40% of the people that join our Facebook group, thousands of people say this is their number one biggest fear. And that's the reason why today we're gonna dive deep on how you can overcome this biggest fear. So then that way you can turn your fantasy into reality. Let's dive right in. To better understand how we can overcome this, we must understand why this is the case. Why are we afraid to start? It is because we are afraid of being seen as a failure. According to a Wakefield research, they're saying that one out of three Americans are more afraid to start a business than to jump out of an airplane. And failing is a word that we have programmed to avoid at all costs since we're a child. We're programmed to be afraid of failing our tests. Be afraid of failing our driver license. Be afraid of failing in our marriage. And all this fear is based on the disappointment. The, dis the fear of disappointing our loved ones, our spouses, our parents, and our investors. And that's what prevents us from taking any type of actions. Now that we understand the root cause of why you still haven't started your restaurant, here are some ways that you can overcome that. The first part to overcoming the fear of failure is to view life as a process. View life as a process because we're not gonna be able to hit 100% all the time. And if we can do that and hit home runs all the time, then we would all be athletes. Just like biking, skiing, or any type of sports, you're gonna fall, you're gonna fail, you're gonna hurt yourself, and that is okay because that's part of the process. And the same thing with business. You're gonna see a lot of failures. You're gonna see these failures as opportunity for you to learn. When you learn this thing, you can apply to your next business, to next business, so then that way you can improve and one day be successful. My case as a prime example, You've seen multiple different successful projects that I've built, but over the last 10 years, I've built dozens of projects and businesses that have not ticked off. Same thing with any people that you see as a tremendous success. Elon Musk, Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, even Gordon Ramsay, they have multiple of failures until they have any type of success. So definitely view life as a process in order for you to overcome the fear of failure. The second way to overcome any type of fear of starting and failure is to not compare yourself. When it comes down to it, you could be making a million dollars and you still feel like a failure. Whereas someone else making $200,000 and they feel over the moon, passing with flying colors. At the end of the day, success is relative. What does that mean? That means that you shouldn't compare yourself with everyone else on different parts of their journey. The fact that you're taking one step ahead is already much ahead of 99% of the people who have the fear of taking any type of actions. So definitely don't compare yourself so then that way you can take the first step. The third step to overcome the fear of failure is to start small. At the end of the day, when our goal is to climb Mount Everest, yes, it's gonna appear very, very intimidating because where do we start? But the step to approaching and climbing and conquering Mount Everest starts 
from the very first step. That means you first start small. You need to be able to break down this whole journey into tiny steps that you can achieve over time. And that's how you're going to be able to have the courage to actually go and conquer this mountain. Same thing with your restaurant business. You must be able to break down your business into tiny chunks which you can achieve because we fall in love with our business idea and when we do, we think about marketing, we think about hiring, we think about location, we think about business plans, we think about everything and it is very overwhelming just like climbing Mount Everest. When you have a business plan to follow, when you have a steps, small incremental steps that you can take one at a time, it becomes something that is achievable. It becomes something you can build momentum of and it becomes a lot easier. And that's the reason why you must check out this video where I talk about how to create a business plan. So then that way you can first start to taking your first step. Fourth step to overcome the fear of failing is to learn from someone who's been there and done that. Give you as an example. If you want to climb Mount Everest, wouldn't you want a guide that can show you the fastest way to get there? Don't you want a guide to show you the steps to take and tell you the steps not to take because that's a cliff and you can actually die from that? You would want to have a guide to help you get there. Same thing with your restaurant business. You must find someone who's been there, done that, to show you the ropes, show you the steps, and at the same time, encourage you to do the work. Because at the end of the day, it's not about the steps. It's about you having the courage to take them. Myself included, I invest in mentors all the time, even till today. Each year, I spend five figures investing in mentors who's been there and done that. So then that way, I know the steps to take forward in order to improve myself. Same thing with you. Find someone who's been there, done that, and learn from them. Learn from their mistakes, so then that way you don't need to reinvent the wheel. You would have a walking stick along with you to support you. And if you want a guide in the restaurant space, and I'm here for you, because I've made tons of mistakes in the past decade of running multiple different restaurants and food concepts. And I've documenting down in a free masterclass in the link below. It's over an hour long, of course, that actually teaches you how you can align your values with your customers. So then that way you can build a bulletproof concept. And at the same time, we teach you how to connect with your customers. So then that way you can build raving fans that will always support you. And then how you can explode in revenue for your restaurant. Once again, this is a free masterclass you can attend in the link below. Definitely check it out. The fifth step to overcome this hairy, scary monster of the fear of failing is to join a community with like-minded people who understands you, who shares the same values and share the same goals as you, shares the same fears with you. So then that way they can be there to support you. And when you're in an environment that everyone understands you and everyone is there to support you. When you have questions, you can ask. When you are going through hardship, they can relate and empathize. That's where true power comes from. When I first started my journey on creating business, that was something that I always wish I had, was just to have someone bounce ideas off with me. I would be sitting on my chair facing my whiteboard and I'll be hoping that if one day I can share these ideas with a partner, to bounce ideas off with each other, to support each other, how great would that be? That was my dream when I first started. Now that I have it, I understand the importance of that because it is there as a support system for me, to motivate me, to support me, and to actually conquer this big mountain together. So that's the reason why we created this Facebook group with thousands of members who are on the same journey as you are. And if you wanna be part of this free community, in the link below, join that community and I'm there to support you hand in hand. So there you go, friends. Don't let this be another year where you're having and finding excuses of not starting your dream restaurant again. You now have all the tools to overcome this biggest excuse, the fear of starting. And I wanna be able to support you even greater 
definitely check out the free masterclass below where I share with you much more valuable insights, the roadmap to conquer this big mountain for you. So you can align your values, you know the exact blueprint and the steps to take in order for you to start a successful restaurant. Once again, it is in the link below. It is a free hour of Masterclass just for you. I'll see you guys in the Facebook community. And if you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.